outdoors. Bucks, bass, and beers. 3B Outdoors premier sponsors are Spot Hog, makers of serious archery products, and W.E. McConnell & Sons, high-performance builders of high-performance nationwide homes. Welcome to this episode of 3B Outdoors. Today we're hanging with the pros. Brandon Card is our guest, the 2012 Bassmaster Elite Series Rookie of the Year. We're on our favorite body of water, Douglas Lake in good old East Tennessee. We're gonna to try to catch those fish out there really deep on that structure. And we'll call on today's episode, Go Big or Go Home. Let's hook up with Brandon at the convenience store as we gas the boat up, make some last minute tackle preparations and head over to Dandridge Boat Ramp. Brandon Carr. Is that the Nathan Light? I'm telling you, dude. I want your autograph right here on this you hat. You want me to autograph that hat? Yeah. Now I don't you, think it'll you, show up. You don't want me to mess up your hat, dude. How are you? Good. How are you? So we're bringing you back to reality. I understand you've been on Gunnersville for how long? Uh, Four days. Four days. Down there whacking up some giants. So now you're back home on East Tennessee and where uh, we're at? Douglas Lake, one of the best lakes in East Tennessee. Oh, man, I'm telling you. What are we going to do today? Uh, we're going to go out there and just try to catch some big fish. We're going to fish deep. Uh, the bites are few and far between out there, but they're they're big. So if, now if you hook them, they're big. No, no. are you saying we're going to do something different? Normally, we just go catch fish, man. Yeah. I'm happy if it bites, okay? But. So we're gonna go big or go home. We're gonna we? go big or go home. We're gonna fish between probably 25 and 35 foot of water, and we're just gonna target those big ones. We could go up on the bank, probably catch all the little ones we want, but I'm not interested in that. So we're talking light line, six pound drop shot, finesse mm. worm. No, we're talking about long line, the big crank baits, long and line. swim baits. Have I got and... anything to do that with? Are you, you uh, ready? I saw a few rods over there. Oh man, hey, I'm fired up. Yeah. Welcome to 3B Outdoors today. We just so happen to have. The Bassmaster Elite Series Rookie of the Year 2012 Brandon Card. Man, fresh off of a great year, got off to a good start this year, slacked off a yeah, little bit. Yeah. But you know, Zona, he 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 occasionally takes people out and tries to get their mind right. Yeah. I'm I may mess yours That's up you. today. No, I, may mess I, think, yours I think you're gonna get it back on track. All right, let's do you're it, man. Welcome to Douglas Lake, East Tennessee, Brandon Card, Nathan Light. We're gonna go hog them or we're gonna go home. Let's go get it done. Let's do it. Good deal. All right. You ready? I'm ready, man. Dude, you talking about fired up. We're with the man. We're gonna go catch a big gun. He's pretty light on his feet to be an old guy, isn't he? Coming in hot. Coming in hot. I'm fired up, dude. Yeah, we're gonna catch some big ones. Let's do it. Only the best life jackets. Onyx Outdoors. Onyx Outdoors. <laughs> Ex-sponsor. Let's get her done. We got the first stop of the day pulled up here, and these right here, there's some big old bass sitting down there. Normally when they show up yellow, they're, they're pretty good. When they have a little green streak in the middle, this one right here's got a little bit of green. That, that means it's even bigger. So we're going to 
We're gonna sling out there and we're gonna long line through them, see if we can get them. Right here's the secret, boys. You can't you can't engage your reel while we're going forward or it's troll. We're just peeling off some line here. All right. You crank on that side, I'll crank on this side. We'll right. see who gets Cover both sides. This will wear you out, won't it? You got that right. If you, if you do this all day long, you're going to be hurting. I'm going to check my drag. I believe I'm pretty... We bang that edge right there. I banged a little bit right there. I thought I already had a bite. I actually wasn't hitting too good on that one. I banged one time, don't I banged? I'm gonna have to cast out further. You want me on the inside or outside? Uh, you got the hot lift shot. Right? Yeah. Outside, I guess. Right. Is that a, um, oh, sorry. You're fine. <laughs> Is that like a custom paint job you got there? Yeah. This portion of 3B Outdoors brought to you by Nelson's Outfitters, Trophy Hunts in Wyoming and Montana, Sunline, Tenzing Packs and Gear, Watson's Airlock, Kistler Rods, Under Armour, Big Dog Muzzle Loaders, Fray Bill, Preferred Insurance Solutions, Bass Pro Shops, and Express Signs, specializing in lighting signs, vinyl graphics, and making 3B Outdoors look good. Hi, I'm Eddie McConnell, owner of W.E. McConnell & Son. We are a franchise builder of Nationwide Homes. We have over 35 years of experience building, over 100 house plans to choose from, where we can customize your home plan to make your dream come true. We're not only better at building homes, we're better at building homes better. Did you build my house? I built your house. You built the best house ever. It's a dust. Hey, I'm Freddie Neely from 3B Outdoors. For the last seven years, I've shot a spot hog sight. It's the most durable, dependable, rugged sight that I've ever come in contact with. After several states and several critters later, I'm still greedy. So if you want to get greedy, go give Josh Johnson from Spot Hog a call. Tell him 3B Outdoor Boys sent you. Or better yet, go to spothog.com and order all their products. ATC Cooling and Heating, your factory authorized carrier dealer. Turn to the experts specializing in geothermal heat pump systems. Take advantage of a 30% tax credit for geothermal installation and rebates up to $1,750. Winter, spring, summer, or fall, all you have to do is call the folks at ATC Cooling and Heating. When all other brands fall, carrier and ATC stand tall. Your geothermal heat pump specialist. Now we're out here on our big bass hole, and what have you done? I caught me a magnum crappie, long line. Long line. 33 foot of water. Now, if we catch seven or eight more of them, Donna will be happy. Yeah, that's going to be some good eating. Are we going to keep this one or not? No, nah, I don't think I so. I will turn it loose. All right, let's see if we can actually catch a bass. Yeah. That, that would be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah. I got confidence, though. It's going to happen. If we can stay off of that, whatever it is out there, it keeps hanging us up. Yeah. Now what happened, Brandon? Well, I got hung with about 100 yards of line out, <laughs> trying to long line down here. That's a real deal, isn't it? Oh, 100 yeah. yards of line out and you have to go back and get it. Yeah, and I'm setting you up perfect on it. Well, that, that, I don't see a problem. Don't don't go catch my fish now when I'm hung. You just tell me when you're, are you unhung? Hang on. I'm gonna work mine as It feels as like I'm hung in line, actually. <sighs> that, yeah, it's line. That ain't good, is it? See it? Yep. Got something coming now. That's good. Big old bass. Get 
with the net. Huh? Salvage the lure right there. Oh look, I, I was hung on. Well, actually, yeah. I don't see any line. Well, we finally got one on. He's coming up. We sit here and mess with this school. How long? I don't know. <laughs> For 30 minutes. Too long. And you picked up a, a rig. First cast of the Alabama rig. We finally got one. Let's see if we can get them fired right up. Out there's one fed right out there. Maybe they get something going here. You, you weren't even uh, down there, were you? No. Nope. Begging? Ah, it feels pretty good. But can't tell. Did that fish hit it up there and like up close to the surface? Yeah. I don't think it's a fish now. If it is, it's little. Or he's, <laughs> no, he's oh, a fish. Is. He is little. Unbelievable. I thought it was a good one at first, but he just stopped it. Long there it lining, is. 12 inches. We, we said that we are going big or going home, so I guess it's time to go home. Yeah, they'll grow up. They can't help it if we're all little. It's a bite, man, it's a bite. Good old polymer knot. Fairly light line, got a lot of it out there. You can't afford not to retie when you get a little nick in. I got hung up there. And Take a few seconds out to retie. May mean the difference in a big fish or no fish. Good to go. Coming up. Swim bait fish or? Yep, swim bait. Single swim bait. Oh yeah, holy cow. <laughs> well, he's, he's a good one. You got him? I don't know. <laughs> Let me get my hands on him. Come here, boy. Nice. Look at that, dude. Black spots. Look at the head on that fish right there. That's a nice one there, folks. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah, bass. Go big or go home. That's a good one. That is a nice one right there. Did he clobber it or just lay it? Oh, yeah. Did yeah. He? he like, it was kind of like a little thwink thwink and then. Well, we've been sitting here looking at him and kind of called yeah. our shot. That's a beautiful Douglas Lake swim bait fish right there, guys. Nice. Good job, man. Nice fish. Well, we've been trying uh, long line crankbaits for most of the day today, and I just now switched up and tried this single swim bait. I think what's happened is this, this water's cleared up. Last week, they were on the crankbait real good, and uh, the water had a little bit of color to it. Um, now, I think the water's cleared up a little bit, and, and it seems like the swim bait's kind of the, kind of the ticket. I know several big Several big bags last weekend were came on the uh, the swim bait, but about a week and a half or two weeks ago, it was unbelievable cranking out here. This this one pulled pretty hard at first. Now it's swimming the boat. Let's see how big it is. Oh yeah, this, this is a grown one, one boys. <laughs> <laughs> this a grown one? Yeah, it feels like it. Let's it's see. It's pulling, baby. Here yeah. it comes. Well, I seen that head shake. He's not done, is he? Look at that. Uh oh, Stripe oh. or Hybrid. He's grown. Give me a Go break. big or go home. I mean, that's a big one. I mean, that, we stayed with the plan. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought it was fighting weird. It pulled. Oh, that was cruel. It pulled really hard and then it was swimming. Golly! Got me soaked. 
he's not happy with you sticking him with that swim bait. Soaking wet, all for just a hybrid. Go big or go home? He was big. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Hey, he's fishing, baby. Yeah. Coming up. Ah, decent. A good one. Of course, they're all good. Oh, yeah. Nice fish. There we go. Nice little Alabama rig fish. We got them eating now, boys. Let's get in there while it's hot. Oh, there he is. Coming up. Oh, that's a good one. You found a little deal going on with that rig now. Look at that. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's Look. a nice fish. Catch them suspended out here. I'm telling you, suspended in deep water now. There we go. We're sitting over 40 feet of water, and these are biting, what, about 20 foot? Man. Pretty, pretty fish. Yep, good one. You're the man. This segment of 3B Outdoors presented by Matthews. Catch us if you can. Plano. Rage Broadheads. Motor Mate USA, Canon Sunglasses, Hunter Safety Systems, Lawrence HDS Gen 2 Touch, Hardcore, Waterfowl Decoys and Gear, Luminoc, and Paul Clark State Farm Insurance, 3B Outdoors Preferred Insurance Provider. I saw Brent going hunting again this morning. I thought he was building a new home. Haven't you heard? It's already built. McConnell and Son took care of everything, completely hassle free. You know, Fess, Brent and I, we've thought about building a new home, but we're afraid it'll end up in divorce. Nah, I think you guys will do great. Just let Andy McConnell handle all the worries. I've heard him say it many a times. He aims to save marriages. W. McConnell and Sons, give him a call. Honey, fishing. It's time we settle this. Okay, let's go to Wally's. Let's go! Nathan, Wally's has everything a hunter needs. Freddie, have you seen all the fishing tackle at Wally's? I said hunting. And I said fishing. Hey guys, you're both right. I'm Andrew, owner of Wally Sporting Goods, a haven for all sportsmen and women. From rifles to rods and reels, Wally Sporting Goods is your locally owned outdoor connection. Hunting and fishing. At Ravy Ford, we're having the big deal sale. This is a big deal. Every new 2013 Ford and Lincoln will have the factory invoice posted in the window. Now that is a big deal. And we have 0% financing and no payments for 90 days on most vehicles. Do I need to say it again? Hmm, yes, that is a big deal. At Ramey Ford, we do the deal. Now that's a big deal. The fish I was probably in about 20 and I let it sink a little bit. And then I just started reeling it back. Alabama rig, yep. Good one. Hit it on the fall. Lucky fish. Actually a pretty good one. Hold him down. I was letting it sink and he, he thumped it. Alabama my rig. Good one, dude. Hit it on the fall. Pretty. Sweet. There we go. Let's get another one. Just waiting on you to catch one, that's all. You might be here a while. Look at that ugly thing. He's beat up all these people. Big in. Big in. Go big or go home. That's what we said. But I guess they got to be little before they can be big. So that's a future big one. Go big. Go home. <laughs> the bites, man. 
he knew the drill. And you got Clydezilla. These ones. Oh, that's a good, oh man. Oh man. Not cool. Not cool, dude. He did not play fair. That was a chunky monkey. That was a... About three and a half. Yeah, about three and a half. <laughs> what, was, was he bigger than that? Yeah. About seven, I think, wasn't it? <laughs> How big is it, man? I don't know, we're getting ready to find out. He's pulling pretty good. Here it comes. Good one. Begging. Good begging, he said. Begging. I'm, I'm down here. You want me to help him? Or are you going to get him yourself? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll get him. Boom. Boom. Yeah, bass. Dude, there we go. Come get you some of that. <laughs> Yeah, like go big or go home, uh, he, man. He choked that swim bait. Check this out. You think he won that swim bait? Golly. Good night. Look at that. Go big or go home. That's another good one right there. Yeah. Now, what did you just tell me to Pour do? Something. What'd, huh? you, what'd you just tell me to do? I told you to put that spoon on, that flutter spoon. And then what did you catch one on? Alabama rink. <laughs> the that, the that's secret, what you call defensive fishing right there. The secret tips of the Boom. pros. Right there. <laughs> it's a beautiful Douglas Lake bass right there on the Alabama rig. Out of 35 feet of water. Beautiful. Awesome. Oh, he's getting bigger. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, what right, well, you got? Is that the right kind? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a toad right there. Look at that brute. Oh, I think we found them, boys. Check out the Yeah, fish, bass. Hat. Look at that. I hooked Bar this all out. You have on a single? Yeah. Single swim bait. Another good one. I'm telling you. Nice. Beautiful. Right. Hello. <laughs> one more time. Out of boy, Brandon. <clears throat> he hit it like right before it hit the bottom. I don't know how big he is. I had all my line out <laughs> and he smacked it. Little one. Little. Another little guy on the Alabama rig. That's not too bad. I mean, that's a bass. It's a bass. Is that about all you can say? A bass is one? a bass is a bass. Thank you, little guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Barely hooked. You want me to help you? Huh? You no, gonna I get it? it? Hey, quit fighting on me. There Jeez. it is. Nice. Look at this. Tangled up in it. Hook come, just fell come out. Come loose right there at the boat. Pretty, pretty. That's what it's all about right there. I'm man. telling you, man. That's a beauty. Last fish of the day, man. This is just a great way of ending an awesome trip with 3B Outdoors. Thanks, Nathan, for uh, letting me fish with you guys. Beautiful fish. He don't even know. It's going to jump. <laughs> he didn't even know he was undone, did he? That's what it's all about right there. Man, I tell you, that last fish probably just shut the door on this episode of 3B Outdoors. Yeah, we've, but... we've rode around with Brandon Card all day. I've been in the back of the boat, in the front of the boat, all around the boat, and I've watched him catch them all day long. I see why he makes the big money, and I see why he's on tour. You know, you've been with some big, big name people. What was the article you did for Bassmaster? What's it called? Recently, where you had? Oh it? yeah, the uh, day on the lake with day on uh, the Darn lake. Worth. Now, it, 
does it compare at all to Day on the Lake with 3B Outdoors? Day on the Lake with 3B Outdoors is probably at least three times as fun and entertaining. And actually, I caught probably three times as many fish on, there you this, go. on this trip. So. You heard it. You heard it. <laughs> heard it here first. But on a serious note, man, when you can climb in the boat with an Elite Series, Bassmaster Elite Series Pro like Brandon Card, and ride around and see how they think, how they work, and their mindset on attacking the body of water, man, it's incredible. And I've always just enjoyed hanging out with you guys, and today was really, really special. Oh, it was a pleasure. And, man, you caught some big fish. To, I mean, that last one there, it was almost to the boat, wasn't it? I thought you didn't hardly even get a chance yeah, to turn it. Yeah, it just short line me. I, I saw those arches down there, and I, and I told you there was a small school, and I threw out there right on the juice, you know, right where they were, nothing bit, and I was just pulling back up. and he thumped it i mean it's been the alabama rig and the swim bait all day long you know going in we thought we we're going to be long lining catching them on crankbaits it just goes to show you you know if if the fish are not doing what you want them to do you just got to adjust and you know try different different techniques and different tactics and uh you know we just kind of figured them out here late in the day offshore bite you know i mean we sit in the boat a lot of times in 50 foot of water fishing 25 to 30 35 foot deep yep, and yep. that's not just the game for everybody i mean it's a tough deal and uh I see why you guys are so good at it, but holy cow, what a day. When I introduced the show today as Go Big or Go Home, you really didn't think we were gonna go home, but you couldn't wait to watch us go big. Well, Brandon Card went big time and time again out of the depths of Douglas Lake on those big largemouth on that swim bait and that Alabama rig. Well, you're probably also thinking, you're the luckiest person that I know to get to hang out with people like Brandon Card. Well, you're absolutely right. I am blessed beyond measure, and some days I even pinch myself to make sure it's not a dream. Thanks for watching this episode, and as Freddie says, we're almost out of time, but we really do appreciate you watching 3B Outdoors. I'm Nathan Light. Until we meet again next time, best fishes.